earlier. Dark tests could indeed be used in a variety of ways. There was an exchange for Exfil 6 Shy 118, many other small barters. But over time some were removed, while others were reworked. The logical question arises, what should be done with the dark tags now? Perhaps it's more profitable to simply sell them to therapists. Let's start with the basics. The higher the level of the dark tags, the more valuable it is when sold. To be more specific, if selling to therapists, the price starts at 378, and each level multiplies this figure. So level 10 is 3780, and if you were level 100 in the game, then it would be 37800. Not so much for your life, right? Additionally, you may have noticed that some dark tags may not be worth anything. This happens if you take a dark tag from your teammate. Moreover, it will also be considered as not found in the raid. Dark tags can also be sold to proper, fans and skier, but it's not as profitable. The only option where it can be useful is to level up the turnover with the skier, sometimes I do that myself. There are only three uses for dark tags – completing quests, selling them and using them for exchanges. Let's go through them in order. The next quest that is waiting for you or may have already arrived is a friend from the west part 1. There you will need to bring 7 Yusek dark tags. I'll say right away that dark tags are better to collect in advance. It's not always possible to take them from an enemy, you might get killed or not be able to get close to the body. So collect them from the start. Another nearby and very important quest if you don't have the edge of darkness pack is the Punisher part 6, where you need to bring 7 bad dark tags and 7 Yusek. This quest is important because at the end of the Punisher quest line you will be given an Epsilon pouch, which is essential for those who play the cheapest version of the game. There is also a mission called Our Own Land, where you will have to defeat as many as 20 you sec at the lighthouse and bring the same number of dark tags. The quest opens only at level 30, so I advise you to take care of it in advance, but this is only if you play as a bear. If you choose you sec, then you will have an alternative alternative quest called Conorection, where you will need 20 bear dark tags. The quest is useful if you want to unlock the blinding star cottage for the KS-23. And if you make it to level 55, you will unlock the trophies quest, where you will need to bring 20 Yusek and bear dark tags above level 50. In return you will be given the opportunity to craft the M61 cottage. I'll note separately the indirect connection with the quest. This is Gunsmith Quest Part 13. There you will need an RSS. For its exchange, you will need 8 dark tags above level 15 for bear and Yusek. Otherwise, you will have to farm market rooms to find it. In addition, you may receive weekly and daily quests to hand our dark tags, but for this, it's not worth saving them. Hmm. Subscribing to the channel is very important. Without subscribing to the channel, you won't be able to see as many videos and content in the future. So subscribing is very important. Click on this button and we'll meet again. Selling Dark Tags If you've put off all the necessary Dark Tags for quests, then it only makes sense to sell those below level 15. They're useless, because every barter requires them to be at least level 15. For the most part, collecting them below level 15 is not worth it. Exchanges for Dark Tags in this vibe, I've identified three main barters for Maeso that make sense. The first one is for the item case. The exchange opens at therapist level 3, you need 80 dark tags above level 15. Even if they are all level 40, the price will be 1.2 million. An alternative way to get the case is either for Yeros and for Ophthalmoscopes, and in both cases the price is around 2 million, which is almost twice as high. The second good exchange is for a junk box. 
you only need 40 duck tags above level 15. So the price will not be higher than 600 k while its direct purchase will cost more than 1 million. Another exchange is offered by Peacekeeper for GPNVG18, where you need 9 bad duck tags above level 25. This is about 90k, when its price starts at minimum of 200k, and if you exchange it for Moonshine, it will be even more. There are other exchanges, like the one for Aina M2, but damn, this is just nonsense. There you need 10 duck tags above level 20, even if it's all turned out to be exactly level 20, it will be 75k. Like for the false class of protection, complete nonsense. Therapist offers to exchange it for Ladix, where you need a weapon 140 dark tags level 10, and others. Here, even at the minimum rate, it will be 800 to 900k, which doesn't smell very profitable. Yes, it's cheaper, but keeping almost full 2 dark tech cases not cool. There is also an exchange with the skier for an inferior optical site, where you need 5 USEC level 20 dark tags. The site itself costs only 40k, I really don't understand why this exchange is needed. They should have added one for Voodoo, Band, Razor for any normal site, not for this freak. Next, let's discuss what to store dark tags in. You can put them in three main containers. These are the junk box, the dark tech case and the sick case. Using the junk box for this purpose is not very profitable, because it holds only 196 cells, stacks up 16 and costs about a million. The dark tech case is just white. You can exchange it from Jäger for 160k, it holds a whole 100 dark tags and it only takes up one cell. Moreover, I regularly carry it with me into race. This is very convenient, since space almost never runs out. You can quickly run up to a pile of bodies and pull out a dark tag from each one. Some will say that it's better to carry the C case for such purposes, maybe, but I'm more comfortable carrying a tablet for documents, because it can hold much more different items. Moreover, it's given for the nostalgia quest, and the price of the sick is about 1.5 million, considering that it's not particularly useful if you are not going to shoreline. When using exchanges to avoid spending important dark tags, you can hide them in a pouch so the trader won't know they are there. By the same logic, when the dark tech case is full, you can conveniently lay it out in your stash, exchange for the item you need and then put it back. Also, the dark tags of enemies you've defeated can be stored in your Hall of Fame and displayed in your profile. I'll say the destruct dark tag for subscribing to the channel. Overall, I like that the developer has clearly made very profitable exchanges, which wasn't the case before. But it's extremely unclear why a bunch of others were cut when they could have been optimized in the same way. The same exfil isn't so useful as to spend your cherished dollars on it. It would have been better to add the ability to exchange for Vulcan, Wiz, FastMT, Airframe, Jux X8, Tactic Mask, the Mandible for Diamond Age, because their prices are still too high. And so for Dark Tags, you get something unique, not like everyone else. Seriously guys, I'm more than sure that this is just an awesome solution. Write in the comments if you agree with me. In the end, we have only a couple options, case number 1 and case number 2. So I hope with the addition of more them over time, because this is just sad. Did you watch till the end? You awesome! See you in the next video. Bye bye!